In this problem, we are asked to solve the absolute value equation. The absolute value of 2 thirds times a plus 1 sixth, then add a half, is equal to 10 fourths. One way to approach this problem is to isolate the absolute value on one side of the equation. Therefore, I'm going to start by subtracting 1 half from both sides of my equation. So I am left with on the left 2 thirds times a plus 1 sixth all in absolute value, is equal to 10 fourths minus 1 half. And 10 fourths minus 1 half is the same as 10 fourths minus 2 fourths, which is equal to 8 fourths. And 8 fourths is equivalent to 2. Therefore, we have the absolute value of 2 thirds times a plus 1 sixth is all equal to 2. Now let's investigate what we know about the absolute value. We can see this visually on a number line centered at zero. The absolute value is a distance away from zero. Therefore, when we want the absolute value of this quantity, 2 thirds a plus 1 six to be equal to 2, the distance is going to be exactly 2 units away from zero. Therefore, we would either be at a positive 2 or a negative 2. What this tells us is that either 2 thirds times a plus 1 sixth is equal to a negative 2 or 2 thirds a plus 1 sixth is equal to 2. Now we can go ahead and solve each one of the linear equations separately. If I look at my first linear equation, 2 thirds a plus 1 six minus 2, one thing that I might want to do is multiply both sides by 6. I would multiply both sides by 6 in order to change my fraction coefficients into whole numbers or integers. This way, I can see that I would have 6 times 2 thirds, and 6 times 2 thirds is 4, so I have 4a plus 6 times 1 sixth, which is 1. That's the same as negative 2 times 6, which is a negative 12. If I went to my second equation, which is 2 thirds a plus 1 six is equal to 2, I could do the same process by multiplying both sides of my equation by 6. On the left hand side I would use the distributive property of multiplication over addition and I would see I'd have 6 times 2 thirds which is again 4 so I have 4a and 6 times 1 sixth which is 1 so I have 4a plus 1 is equal to 2 times 6 which is 12. Now I can go ahead and solve again for each one of those linear equations. In the first equation I have 4a plus 1 is equal to a negative 12. So I could subtract 1 from both sides, giving me 4a is equal to a negative 13. Finally dividing both sides by 4, I would get a is equal to a negative 13 fourths. In my second equation I have 4a plus 1 is equal to 12. Therefore I could subtract 1 from both sides of my equation resulting in 4a is equal to 11. Dividing both sides by 4 I would have a is equal to a positive 11 fourths. Therefore my two answers are a is equal to a negative 13 fourths and a is equal to 11 fourths. I have found two solutions to the equation. The absolute value of 2 thirds a plus 1 sixth is equal to 2. I can verify my solutions by substituting back in a into that absolute value equation. Therefore, if I substitute a negative 13 fourths into my absolute value, I'd have the absolute value of 2 thirds times a negative 13 fourths plus 1 sixth 
and I want to verify that that is indeed equal to 2. If I take 2 thirds times 13 fourths, multiplying those fractions would result in a negative 13 sixths. So I have the absolute value of a negative 13 sixths plus 1 sixths, and again I want to verify that that is equal to 2. Negative 13 sixths plus 1 sixth is a negative 12 sixths. So I have the absolute value of a negative 12 6, which is equal to the absolute value of a negative 2. And the absolute value of a negative 2 is indeed equal to 2. Verifying that a equaling to negative 13 fourths is one of our solutions. Now checking a is equal to 11 fourths. Again, substituting 11 fourths into our absolute value. and verifying that it is equal to 2. 2 thirds times 11 fourths is equal to 11 sixths. So we have the absolute value of 11 sixths plus 1 sixth is equal to 2. 11 sixths plus 1 sixth is 12 sixths. And the absolute value of 12 sixths is the same as the absolute value of 2, which is indeed equal to 2. Verifying that 11 fourths is also a solution to our absolute value equation.